Hello students, let us discuss the solutions to homework problem. First, the square of a number may be even or it may be an odd. Square of an odd number is always odd and square of an even number is always even. For example, 4 square is equal to 16 is an even number and 5 square is equal to 25 is an odd number. Hence, it is not a statement. Second sentence, it is an order. Hence, it is not a statement. Third, it is false because the product of minus 1 and 8 is not 8. It is minus 8. Hence, it is a statement. Fourth, it is true that sum of interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Hence, it is a statement. Fifth sentence, it is a windy day. It is not clear that about which day it is said. Thus, it can't be concluded whether it is true or false. Hence, it is not a statement. Now, students, let us study about new statements from old. We now look into method for producing new statements from those that we already have. An English mathematician, George Bully, discussed these methods in his book, The Laws of Thought, in 1854. We shall discuss two techniques. As a first step in our study of statements, we look at an important technique that we may use in order to deepen our understanding of mathematical statements. This technique is to ask not only what it means to say that a given statement is true, but also what it would mean to say that the given statement is not true. Now, let us look at what do you mean by negation of a statement. The denial of a statement is called the negation of the statement. Let us consider the statement P. New Delhi is a city. The negation of this statement is, it is not the case that New Delhi is a city. This can also be written as, it is false that New Delhi is a city. This can simply be expressed as, New Delhi is not a city. Let us define this. If P is a statement, then the negation of P is also a statement and is denoted by not P and it is also read as not P. Please note that while forming the negation of a statement, phrases like it is not the case or it is false that are also used. Here is an example to illustrate how by looking at the negation of a statement, we may improve our understanding of it. Let us consider the statement P, everyone in Germany speaks German. The denial of this sentence tells us that not everyone in Germany speaks German. This does not mean that no person in Germany speaks German. It says merely that at least one person in Germany does not speak German. We shall consider some more examples here. Write the negation of the following statements. First, both the diagonals of a rectangle have the same length. Second, root 7 is rational. Now, let us look into the solution. First, the statement says that in a rectangle, both the diagonals have the same length. This means that if you take any rectangle, then both the diagonals have the same length. The negation of this statement is, it is false that both the diagonals in a rectangle have the same length. This means the statement, there is at least one rectangle whose both diagonals do not have the same length. 
second the negation of the statement in second may also be written as it is not the case that root 7 is rational this can also be rewritten as root 7 is not rational let us look into one more example here write the negation of the following statements and check whether the resulting statements are true first australia is a continent second there does not exist a quadrilateral which has all its sides equal. Third, every natural number is greater than 0. Fourth, the sum of 3 and 4 is 9. Let us look into the solution. First, the negation of the statement is, it is false that Australia is a continent. This can also be rewritten as Australia is not a continent. We know that this statement is false. Second, the negation of the statement is, it is not the case that there does not exist a quadrilateral which has all its sides equal. This also means the following, there exists a quadrilateral which has all its sides equal. This statement is true because we know that square is a quadrilateral such that its four sides are equal. Third, the negation of the statement is, it is false that every natural number is greater than 0. This can be rewritten as, there exists a natural number which is not greater than 0. This is a false statement. Fourth, the negation here is, it is false that the sum of 3 and 4 is 9. This can be written as, the sum of 3 and 4 is not equal to 9. The statement is true. Now students, let us discuss about compound statements. Many mathematical statements are obtained by combining one or more statements using some connecting words like and, or, etc. Consider the following statement. P. There is something wrong with the bulb or with the wiring. This statement tells us that there is something wrong with the bulb or there is something wrong with the wiring. That means, the given statement is actually made up of two smaller sentences that is Q, there is something wrong with the bulb, R, there is something wrong with the wiring, connected by OR. Now suppose two statements are given as below, P, 7 is an odd number, Q, 7 is a prime number. These two statements can be combined with AND can be written as R, 7 is both odd and prime number. This is a compound statement. This leads us to the following definition. A compound statement is a statement which is made up of two or more statements. In this case, each statement is called a compound statement. Let us consider some examples. Example 1 find the component statements of the following compound statements. First, the sky is blue and the grass is green. Second, 0 is a positive number or a negative number. Let us look into the solution. First, the component statements are P, the sky is blue, Q, the grass is green. The connecting word is AND. In the second one, the component statements are P, 0 is a positive number, Q, 0 is a negative number. The connecting word is OR. Let us consider another example. Find the component statements of the following and check whether they are true or not. First, a square is a quadrilateral and has 
its four sides equal. Second, all prime numbers are either even or odd. Second, the component statements are P, all prime numbers are odd numbers, Q, all prime numbers are even numbers. Both these sentences are false and the connecting word is OR. Third, the component statements are P, Chandigarh is the capital of Haryana, Q, Chandigarh is the capital of Uttar Pradesh. The first statement is true, but the second is false. Here, the connecting word is AND. Fourth, the component statements are P, 24 is a multiple of 2, Q, 24 is a multiple of 4, R, 24 is a multiple of 8. All these statements are true. Here, the connecting words are AND. Thus, we observe that compound statements are actually made up of two or more statements connected by the words like AND, OR, etc. These words have special meaning in mathematics. Thus, we observe that compound statements are actually made up of two or more statements connected by the words like AND, OR, etc. These words have special meaning in mathematics. So, students, today we studied about compound statements and negation of statements. In the next session, we shall study about special words or phrases. Thank you.